Hi guys, uh, I am back here with my mom, and if you have given any thought to this, you'll know that we're in the same clothes, so it's not like we took a long break, but chances are these videos aren't going back to back, so let's pretend it's a new day! Yay! It's okay, so we are here, and today we're making Norwegian waffles, which I know you're probably thinking they're just waffles, what's the difference, no. but there is a huge difference. One, they're spelled with a V, yes. not a W. Waffle. Waffler. No. Yeah, like that. Um... <laughs> And these are so delicious, and I will include a gluten-free version uh, recipe in here for you, but today we're just going to make normal gluten-filled, delicious, wow. but allergic waffles. So I will I will do all the testing and eat them all for you, as will the siblings, I'm You're sure. You're so kind. We're going to make Norwegian waffles here. Again, we're going to start with four eggs. Help me crack some. Okay. Or throw some. Whichever comes first. I can crack things. Like, like your head. head. <laughs> <laughs> what is one time? <laughs> yes. And then you pass that trade on to your sister, and she did it one time. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Then it's four tablespoons of sugar. These Norwegians like things sweet. Sweet and buttery. Sweet and buttery. All right. Yeah, Paula Dean. <laughs> Are you Norwegian? Are you sure you're not? Maybe? No? Maybe. Okay. So we can turn that little hand blender on. Back to the blender. Back to the noisy blender. <laughs> Plus for one or two teaspoons. We like two. Oh. The iron's ready! Yep, We're not ready for you yet. So. So, we need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I didn't put this in a fancy little container. That's just so that you can tell it's baking soda. Yes. All right, so go ahead and start that again. We're going to add four. It's It calls for four cups of milk or buttermilk. Or you can do a, a mixture of three cups milk to a cup of sour cream. So we have this batter. It's really it comes off very watery. You're very you, watery. You need to let it sit for a little bit before you do most of the mixing, but it does settle down. It is watery, but the waffles aren't meant to be thick. So yeah, we're gonna let this sit a little bit, but we're gonna make some waffles for you too. I'm going to show you our lovely iron it's too. Hot. I know it's hot. Um so this is Again. Typically, again, what a Norwegian waffle is going to look like. It's got the heart shape. Yeah. Ta-da! That's so cute. So, I mean, you could make Norwegian waffles on a regular waffle iron, couldn't you, essentially? Mm. Or would it be hard because the dips are so deep? I think... I really don't know. That well, you could try, and if you try it, let us know. And I would love to see what your Norwegian waffles in an American or Belgian or whatever Chinese waffle iron contraption you have. All right. All right. Now, the last little ingredient is butter. Like I said, those Norwegians, butter and sugar mm -hmm. and some good coffee. That's why they're so sweet. We're going to bake. Ready. 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 That's the best thing about them. Takes about... Three or four scoops, maybe three and a half. Oh, I was going to show that. That's oh, good. sorry. We'll That's okay. You can time. see the next time about how much batter to iron ratio there is. Yes. You can find these irons on Amazon. That's where I found mine because mm -hmm. I was so excited that I found it. So if you want to be a Norwegian or you are Norwegian and you've been looking for traditional Norwegian recipes and equipment, Amazon's the place to go. Woo, it's ready! It's ready! Although... Woo! So... Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna open this bad boy up. And... Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I want to eat it. 
Ooh, it's beautiful. Don't burn yourself. I usually use a knife. Yeah. Don't do it like this. Ta da! Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, it's hot. Okay. Now I'm going to eat my waffle. Mm hmm. This is the mm. best with, um, like, jam. Mm. Like, good. Mm. Mm. I would eat it, but I, then I would. Then you would die. Then I would die. Mm. Not really. But um, mm. from our family to yours, Norwegian love with bufflers. Mm. Mom, what's your favorite memory of having Norwegian waffles? Oh, sitting at my mom's brother's house, my uncle Knut. He had this huge. Um, beautiful, almost like log cabin looking house, but it wasn't really a log cabin, but it was that beautiful wood and a beautiful huge porch into rolling green grass. And I could almost honestly say that sometimes the grass seems as green as your sweater in Norway because it's just it's stunning. Why this. It's so you and, um, just being there with my cousins and them and just having afternoon treats, and it was. Everything from cookies and fresh jams to Norwegian waffler and cheeses and meats and just oh, family time and just being there. It makes me just want to go back. Thanks for bringing that. Well, that's what the holidays are all about. Yes, it is. So I'm looking Reminiscing forward. on fun, loving family time. I know.